Hi, I'm Danny with BuyTwoWayRadios.com. In this video, we're going to unbox a brand new mobile two-way radio from Vero Telcom, the VR6600 Pro. This mobile amateur radio features a large, detachable, easy-to-read LCD display with eight selectable colors, 50 watts of power, and crossband repeater capability. We're not going to go into a lot of detail on all of its features, but we are going to open the box, power it on, and take you through the menu settings. Let's open it up and take a closer look. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're looking at the VGC or Vero Telcom VR6600 Pro. Uh, now we just received this radio. Uh, I'm looking at it for the first time here. So uh, if you thought I was winging it in our other unboxing videos, I'm uh, really uh, winging it this time. I haven't seen this radio. Um, so I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Um, this radio isn't even out yet. Um, what we have here is a sample. Um, when uh, the final version comes out, it's supposed to support um, sort of tri-bands. It's supposed to support uh, 220 as well as UHF, VHF. Uh, but uh, apparently the version that I have here uh, doesn't have the 220 support. Um, I also have um, the GPS and APRS module and a uh, data cable and we'll be looking at those as well. Um, but this uh, radio has gotten a lot of buzz. It looks a lot like a Yaesu um, FTM350. Um, uh, a lot like that Yesu. Um, and the, the features match up pretty well to it as well. Um, looking at the box here, we have support for a thousand channels, clear voice, GPS, Bluetooth, uh, crossband repeat, um, tons of features. It looks like this radio is going to sell for somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, $400. Um, I haven't decided yet if we're actually even going to carry this radio, but uh, I will um, throw it out here and give everyone a first look at it. Um, let's see what uh, we have on the box. The, the display is completely disconnected uh, from the main unit of the radio, and the display will sit on your dash. I believe there should be a suction cup mount included. Uh, and there's speakers in the display. You don't even need to use a hand mic. Um, as far as I understand it, there's a mic built into the uh, display unit and the soft key for a push to talk button if you like to use it that way. Um, let's open the box and see what we've got inside. Okay start with this side. It's like a uh, mic here. Um, RJ11 uh, type connector. So I can get this off. Good enough. Yeah, this feels like a pretty solid mic. Um, it's light, but um, a lot of options. Looks like four programmable keys, uh, a lamp, and lock options, and down and up button on the top. Definitely all plastic. Let's see what else is in here. Ah, this is the uh, suction cup mount for the display that I mentioned earlier. Looks like that would sit uh, right on the dash and uh, looks like it can be positioned in any way um, with the, the ball here. Uh, we also have looks like mounting screws, 
mic clip, a couple extra fuses, pretty long power cable, uh, T type connector. That's it for this side. detailed I haven't had a chance to look through it yet but so I don't know how well um, put together it is this will be our mounting bracket I'll go ahead and pull it out of the plastic ah, with the way the grooves are set up here it looks like there's a lot of positioning options and maybe a, uh, an easy way for the radio to slide in and out, which uh, you've got to like that. Ooh. Um, I would guess uh, RJ45 connector, so I'm guessing this is uh, the cable to uh, connect the display uh, to the base uh, unit. And this will be the main unit itself. It's very heavy. I'm going to say several pounds for sure. Now keep in mind the way with this radio is going to install um, you're most likely going to put this under a seat or mount it out of the way because the, the display um, connects to this control port here, I would say. And um, you're going to have this out of the way. The display unit is going to go on your dash of your vehicle or somewhere um, more convenient. Um, we have a UHF female or uh, SO239 connection data port. power connector with uh, fuses on both lines. We have another connector there. Line in and an external speaker. Um, fan. Not sure where that's going to mount, but we'll figure that out. And I guess this is the display. Yeah, this is a very light um, and large screen area. We have a mic port and the, the port to connect, yeah, mic and control. Let's see if there's anything left in this box that I'm missing. No, that seems to be everything. Um, what I'm going to do is um, put all this together, connect it to a power supply, and then We'll come right back and uh, we'll walk through some of the, um, the options once we get this powered up. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've connected uh, this unit to a power supply um, and I've basically connected everything together. Um, I've got uh, the display set up on the suction cup on our desk here. So um, we're going to walk through some of the options on the display. Not many. I've, uh, like I said earlier, I haven't uh, used this radio before, so I'm not familiar with what everything does. But um, we're going to just click around and, and see what's available here. Um, one thing I noticed right out of the gate is uh, the power uh, button isn't labeled. So I had to go to the manual to figure out how to turn this on and off. But it's uh, this key right here. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, we have power again. Um, the uh, middle key here gets us into the menu, um, but you see all these la all these are soft keys, and they're labeled along the bottom line. So we have uh, V slash M label, um, SQL. So this must be the squelch control. Um, let's see. There we go. And okay, we have SQL now on the top. So, yeah, this dial will adjust that. Um, I'll go into the settings and we'll see what we have. Uh, I really like the way that uh, the settings uh, are configured on this. It's much easier to use if it's done right than uh, most mobiles that uh, I'm used to. See what we have in the system area. Looks very nice and it's easy to use, I have to say. Um, one other uh, visual thing that I can show you is under display, there should be a color option uh, LCD color this should be it um, this uh, screen supports um, several colors uh, green marine blue yellow green so this is nice you can um, I guess easily match the um, interior of your vehicle if that's what you're trying to do. I'll stick with green. Um, see what our audio options are. kind of hesitated for a second there after I pressed the, the button. Mic gain. Okay. Well, that's a brief look at the display. Um, something else uh, that I wanted to show before I forget. Uh, earlier, um, I wasn't sure where the fan um, installed. But I did notice that uh, the mount um, for the unit has um, four pedestals here that the, the fan mounts right on. Um, also, um, we're going to take a look at the data cable. Um, which it looks like is uh, serial. It's nine pin, and it, um, this would plug into the data port on the back. Um, there's a, a cable. Looks like uh, looks like we have two cables: uh, RJ11 and a RJ45. And a GPS antenna. would have expected the GPS antenna to have been in the, this box, the GPS and APRS module. And they mispackaged something. Here we have a USB cable, looks like a standard USB, um, micro USB port inside. And Just the module itself. Yeah, I think that GPS antenna should have been included in, in this box. 
Um, so we have a GPS antenna connector right here. Um, two mic ports, probably those two cables should have been included here as well. Um, it's a USB connection. All right, well, that's briefly uh, what's included with the um, 6600 Pro. Um, I still don't know if this is something that we're gonna carry. We're gonna wait and test it out, see how it performs, see if we find any, any bugs. Um, and uh, check back with our blog, uh, check our website. We'll be sure to post anything that, uh, that we find there. This has been an unboxing of the VR6600 Pro UHF VHF dual band mobile two-way radio from Vero Telecom. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, email us, or enter our live chat at buy2wayradios.com. If you like this video and want to see others like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash buy2wayradios. I'm Danny and thanks for watching.